Now, let's talk about questions. See, as an artist, to come up with ideas, to refine old ones, you need questions. Asking yourself questions, interrogating yourself, is fundamental all the way through development. Not pretty much anything, not just video game design. Questions can drive creation. They create borders and constraints for you to work inside. They divide your work into steps, and they allow you to appreciate what you already have. Questions can bring other questions. They sometimes are an engine, and they can push you forward. In this lecture, we are going to present you three core questions. They are the organizing framework of this capstone course, and of a lot of game design process in general. You should ask these questions in a linear order, although once formulated, they can, should be asked again. Now, the first core question, has it been done before? This is part of the ideation phase. If it has been done before, well, how has it been done? There's nothing wrong in repeating what works, on the contrary, as long as you're doing it with your own sensibility. That's totally fine. Then the best way to understand how games are made is to play them. Play games. Every genre. By playing games, you get new ideas, discover new game designers, studios, artists, and you might discover new genres that you might not know existed, or you might think you didn't like. Keep in mind that games are mechanical experiences. They trigger switches in the player's brain. Listen when people tell you, oh, it remind me of that game. Don't just say, oh yeah, I heard of it. Go grab that game and play it right now. You either want to reproduce the essence of that game or avoid doing what it does wrong. As a side note, replaying games that influence you is important, as your perception of them might have changed through time. You might not feel the same about games you played a while ago. You might discover things you liked in them that you dislike now, or vice versa. In addition, you want to understand the feel of games. How do genres and audience factor into them? We'll talk about this a little bit later in the week. The second core question, what can be done? This is a question we'll ask in a pre-production phase. What's new or different in your project in terms of genre, how it is presented? What will really define the specificities of your game? Also, what are the technical limitations you're working against? You might not be able to do what you have in mind due to the limitation of specific platforms. You might not have the skills or simply not have the budget. Leave extreme visual prowess to big studios backed up by hardware companies. If you can do it, and it's very impressive, and it works, well, it can impress just the right crowd, then just do it. But plenty of great games can be made quite simply. Now the third core question, what am I doing as of right now? This is the last question. This is something you'll be asking in the production phase. You want to assess and validate what you have already achieved. It is always good to look back and appreciate what you've done, even if you trash it along the way. However, if you feel like you've got something good in your hands, resist the temptation of just blasting it and broadcasting it everywhere. There are stories about developers who are too confident about their game, who are everywhere in the media and the press, and then, well, they took a while to deliver for finally receiving lukewarm feeling reception from everybody. That can happen to anyone. Nurture your gaming process. Keep it warm, and most of the time, don't touch it too much. As you ask yourself, what am I doing? Choosing another path is fine. You can decide to shift halfway through production. It's okay to trim, cut, and remove parts of the game. In fact, it's even encouraged. If something doesn't work anymore, don't spend too much time and energy bringing it back. Just cut. Improving what you have will only come through playtesting. Put it in the hands of people who know nothing about it. Then put it in the hands of people who know everything about it. And then compare. See how it goes. Overall, the idea is to make something you're proud of. It can be very personal, emotional, something you feel you can share, you have to share. So those are the three core questions. Has it been done before? What can be done? And what am I doing? If you can't or don't know how to answer any of these questions as of right now, that is okay too. Not having all the answers is just fine, sometimes.